Okay, I would like to ask you about like success. Maybe how would you define success? How would I define success? If you were to ask me this question when I was um, 30, it would be um, I want to have 100 million baht in mm -hmm. my bank account or I want to have 10 million baht in my bank account. People measure success very differently. And I think my experience and my journey has has given me an, a whole new dimension to the word or definition of success. Success for me is before I close my eyes to get rested at night, did I fulfill everything that I wanted to do? Have I done everything that I wanted to do? If I were to leave this world and not wake up tomorrow, would I have any worries? And if, if I can answer myself and say, oh, I'm happy with my life, I'm okay with everything, and that's successful for me. I think it's like for, for people, they, they, they perceive success differently, but for me right now, I think success is not about how much money you have. It's not about how many cars you own or how successful or the numbers of uh, growth in your company, but how happy you are with Sometimes your life. people wouldn't want to end up in a situation where they, where as they said earlier, like non tai ta me lap, which is like you haven't fulfilled all of your dreams. So like making sure and ensuring that you've completed everything you fulfilled, you have that sort of sense of satisfaction that you, you feel. And one more thing is, never forget your inner child. When you are young, you have dreams, and you, you see the world in such a positive aspect. But once you grow older, and you struggle, and you go out there, and you fight, and you fail, Sometimes you forget your inner child. You forget that you used to have your dreams. And a lot of people end up doing what they hate. When, when you do what you love, it would not feel like work at all. Like for me, I love emceeing. I love to be on stage and I love to entertain people. I love seeing people laugh. I love pe seeing people smile and dance. I love seeing all the lights. I, I, just, I just love all of it. And so when people ask me, how do you do it? You go from province to province and you just like off stage, on stage all the time. I'm excited every time I get to go on stage. And it's never work for me. It's, it's like my playground. So I don't feel like it's work and it's, I get, I get energy from using energy. You get energy by burning energy and it's usually the opposite, right? So when you're happy with what, with what you're doing, it won't be a struggle for you. I mean like there, there'll be a challenge, but it'll be fun, it'll be like playing like a game online, you know, it's like, okay, okay, give me this challenge. What's the challenge of the day? Okay, let's deal with it. It's the way you look at things. If you were thrown a challenge and you look at it in a way where, okay, I, I don't think I can do it. I, I don't have the equipment. I'm not confident. I'm not good enough. Just by saying you're not good enough, it's already, it's already making you not eligible for success. But if you think you can do it, then you can do it. So would you say that motivation is based off of your mind, the mindset that you have? You are who you think you are. If you think you're successful, then you're successful. If you think you would fail in everything, you would fail in everything. I think, therefore I am. Wow. A great quota. I think COVID has changed all of our lives and we lose connection yeah. 
with people. But you know what? Losing connection with other people is okay, but never lose connection with yourself. Always know how you're feeling, and always, I talk to myself a lot. Like I ask myself, like, are you okay? Be kind, not just to others, but be kind to yourself. Don't be so harsh on yourself. You're, both of you are still so young. You have so much ahead of you, you know. And um, I just want you to look at the world from the eyes of someone who is full of dreams and full of imagination. Because you can be whoever you want to be. Again, I think, therefore I am. If you think you can do it, I believe you can do it. So you've said how like you're trying to uh, have that mindset inside of you that okay you can become this person etc right so can you distinguish between us like what is the differences between self care and selfishness like is there an overlap selfishness is when you put your advantage you prioritize your advantage before others. Meaning, if you were to get in line and you cut line because you want to get food before other people, that's prioritizing other people's advantage over your own. No, prioritizing, that's prioritizing your own advantage over other people, okay? But if it's self-care, it's being kind to yourself, knowing you have worked hard, knowing you have done all you can, and giving yourself a chance to not be at it all the time.